What is up, Dream Media family? This is Zach and Kellen, and today we are in a brand new neighborhood. You guys know we do a lot of new construction. Kellen, give them a rundown of some of the services that we can offer them. Yeah, absolutely. So you know we love home theater, but we're not just a one-trick pony. We can do security cameras, your networking, your distributed audio, so you can have music playing throughout the house, around the pool, the backyard. You can have internet access and perfect Wi-Fi strength around those areas as well. So we can do it all. Make sure you're reaching out. Uh, especially important to do that during the building process to make sure you are set up correctly and perfectly. That way there's no issues at all whenever we get in there. Absolutely, guys. Utilize our free consultation service and we're gonna line out all different options at different price points and find something that fits your budget and needs. We have everything electronic related that you need for your new home. Let's go into this house right here and check out an example. Let's go. This is working perfectly. That's my number one concern is just uh, as the owner, I like to step into the home and, you know, see the work that we've done for the clients and, uh, address any concerns. So let me start there. Okay. Are you guys happy with the system? Yeah, I'm satisfied with the setup. I like it. Awesome. Yeah, everything's working good. Everything got hardwired and it's just working perfectly. That's ideal. That's what I like to hear. All right. So as you guys can hear, um, uh, the customers are satisfied with the performance of the system, but as the owner of the company, it's important to me that I am also satisfied with the performance of the system. So coming into these homes, I really like meeting my clients and making sure that we're delivering an optimal experience. So we're gonna fire up this system, check the alignment, check the um, calibration, check uh, speaker locations. As you can see in this space, everything was pre-wired. This is a typical Dolby Atmos uh, surround sound configuration for two rows of seating. 7.2.4, which is, uh, pretty common when you have two rows of seating, um, which you can see right now, they just have the love sack, but this room is laid out for you to have a row here. And then a lot of our customers would do a riser here right. um, for the second row. And these are the surround speakers for those. So whenever we're talking about seven, the, the first uh, set of a 7.2.4, we're talking about the, the main speakers at ear level. So you got your front left, front, right which is going to be behind this screen here right there and we got the 504c right here is your center speaker and uh, we also sell center speaker stands if you guys do want to do a freestanding speaker like this we can do a stand um, a shelf or if your framing will cooperate which a lot of the time is the issue um, why you need to do a freestanding speaker we'll do an in wall center speaker. But like I said, uh, walls, sometimes you'll have framing right in the middle. And if you have framing in the middle of the wall, that could be an issue. But if your wall lines up to where you're 16 inches um, on center to where you can slide that center speaker in, it looks really clean. You'll see that in some of our other videos. Um, we have the surround left and right and then surround rear left and right. So that's the seven aspect of the room. And then we have the dot two, which is the two subwoofers. We have one at the front of the room and one at the back of the room, the SPL 120s. And then the dot four part, so 7.2.4, is gonna be your Atmos, your height effect. So overhead, this is gonna be the helicopter ripping around up there. The plane vroom, coming over, adding that height. And then the low level effects are coming from all the other speakers around. And this is kind of the new norm for this home is theater. normal yes yeah. so um i get a lot of questions all the time is do i really need that many speakers it's it's kind of like whenever everyone was doing 5.1s yeah now it's going to be five dot you know one or two subs with two speakers up top at least a five two four system is i would say kind of like the norm now 5.1.2 well 
Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. a 7.1, when Dolby Digital was popular, um, you know, it was basically you would have surround sound, but you didn't have separation and channel between height height and low effects right it was just surround and surround back and even if there was a plane when you had dolby digital it would still come out of the surround speakers right. um, but now that we have dolby atmos in pretty much every major film it's standard for one row of seating to have a 5.1 or 2.2 or a 7.2.4. Yeah, now that Dolby Atmos is not channel-based, they're not bound by just the amount of speakers. So you can have, theoretically, really as many speakers as you want in this room because what Dolby Atmos is allowing to do is a sound designer or um, an editor is able to place objects in the room, not necessarily to a certain speaker. So if they want a fairy or something yeah. flying around the room right here. There's a few processors that can make that happen, but you're gonna hear it out of this speaker, maybe a little bit out of this speaker, mm -hmm. maybe a little bit out of this speaker to kind of triangulate that sound here. It's just wherever the sound, design, sound designer wants to place objects yeah. in the room. And they correlate that with the image. So right. you'll see like a bird, right? The bird takes off right here out of frame and it's like, whoo, 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 whoo. Let's talk about the video, guys. We got the JVC RS2000, and I would like to announce that we have the new JVC laser projectors in yeah. stock. You want to give them the rundown on those bad boys? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, not only do we have the new lasers that are uh, highly sought after, the NZ7s, RS2100s, RS3100s, which is kind of like the mid-level um, of the laser family, and then the uh, flagship being the 4100, the RS4100. We also have the new RS1100 that is uh, the bulb based projector. So maybe you don't, uh, that, that projector falls more in line with your budget. You're still going to get that JVC quality that uh, we preach on our channel yep. with the incredible black levels, incredible contrast, um, just industry leading black levels all around. Um, all glass lenses, so you have that super sharp uh, 4K that's e-shifted to 8K. So these are 8K capable projectors uh, with industry leading today's technology. They kick butt. Um, de <laughs> <laughs> definitely, we've done a lot of shootouts, guys, which is authentic information, and we really pride ourselves on putting out that content here at Dream Media. We get our hands on it, and we give you an honest opinion on if it's worth the money. Right. I haven't put out a video on uh, like you know Focal, which is a brand we've really been into recently because um, I absolutely love the sound. But um, did the Canta and the Sopra shootout, and I was honest. I was like, for double the price. I don't know if it's really worth it. So we give you honest answers to the questions that you're wondering yourself. Um, and Kellen is a projector specialist. So definitely take advantage of our free consultation service. Pick our brains. We're going to give you all different price points and find something that gives you a well-balanced system. Be sure to reach out to Kellen and utilize our free consultation service. He's going to find something that'll maximize your budget and uh, give you the best performance, guys. Let's talk about this uh, screen here. So Screen Innovations has been one of our go-to screen manufacturers for years and years. You guys have seen it on our channel uh, now for a while. We also carry Stuart, um, and we have a more entry-level manufacturer called EPB, which is the more elite Prime Vision, the more premier screens uh, from elite screens. Screen Innovations, this is one of the industry leading screens. And what they have here is a 133 inch slate ALR screen. ALR means ambient light rejecting screen. Um, and they did the 1.2 gain, which is going to be recommended from us here at Dream Media whenever you're utilizing a low lumen output projector like this from JVC because you want to brighten that image up, but also reject out the ambient light. So in just a minute, we're going to fire this system up and show you even with the lights on, which a lot of people like to have the lights on when viewing, because you're not only watching movies, you know, people have their friends over. You have little kids. You don't want to leave just leaving them in the dark. Yeah. You have a bunch of guys yeah. over to watch a UFC fight or a game. And, you know, last thing I want to do is sitting in it's the a little dark weird. with a bunch of guys. A little so. weird. Yeah. <laughs> So it's nice to have a little light on in the room and also have that TV-like picture on a massive screen. That's what it's all about, guys. 
Um, so this is ALR, this is Screen Innovations paired with JVC, beautiful. In here, you're gonna see our strong FS series rack, guys. We sell these too. I mean, Dream Media has you covered on every single thing that you need to bring your home to life and also keep it organized and make sure that the system lasts for years to come. I have customers that call me from 10 years ago and they're like, hey, my system still works great, but I saw on your channel you have this new latest and greatest. That's what we wanna hear. I want this stuff to last for years and years and you only call us when the technology changes, not when stuff breaks. We stand behind these products. So one thing to uh, note is that this thing is fully enclosed. It has a nice glass door on it. It has the ventilation built in, which will make that equipment last for years to come because we don't want it to get overheated. Um, I also like how it has this nice little lock um, I have a kiddo and he will be in there destroying <laughs> my setup if it's not locked. He'll be pulling all the cables out. Ha ha ha. It's hilarious. And then down here we have the wheels so you can easily service it. You can roll it around like that and get into it. It just makes uh, servicing the unit a breeze. Um, now inside. Oh, and one other thing about this rack, guys, is this thing comes fully assembled to your door. You just pop it out of the box and readjust your shelves and you're ready to rock and roll. A lot of cheaper racks that you'll see out there, th the cost is less, but then it comes to your door in a bunch of flat boxes and you got to build the whole thing. So once you factor in your time, it's not worth it. All right, so in here, we got a Panamax search protector. Um, and we, we sell these as well. Um, the one that we use more than the Panamax is the WAP box, which you've seen in a lot of our videos, but this is a good model as well. It's really important to protect your equipment. Just like the fans, we want to protect your investment. If you get by, hit by lightning, we want to make sure that your equipment lasts, right? It doesn't get damaged. So another thing is networking. Here at Dream Media, we want to hardwire all of our connections if possible. And then we want to put in a mesh network throughout your house so that your hardwired connections aren't pulling on the Wi-Fi, but then when you do utilize your Wi-Fi, it's fast, lightning fast. Um, goes back to you know ease of use and performance. That's what we're shooting for here at Dream Media. Um, so other things to note is he has some Sonos amps in here. Sonos is great for distributed audio, basically independent zone control. So in another video, we'll show you the rest of the house where um, they have pool speakers, living room, 5-1. Basically, in every single room, they can either watch sports, watch movies, pipe music, independent. Um, 2022, this is standard, guys. We have the Marantz down here, and this is the 8015. This is an all-in-one unit. This is like the brain of the system, guys. You're going to process all of your audio right here, as well as amplify all of these speakers and send video to the projector, plug all the devices in, all in one head unit. Now, as you get into higher end audio, you'll see like in Kellen's theater, he has separates, independent amplifiers because he has monstrous speakers. But for my average consumers out there that are doing like a 7.2.4, this is perfect. And um, everything is flowing right through it. Down here we have the, um, it looks like, another little streaming box. And then we got a Nintendo Switch and a Logitech Harmony. So that is the rundown on the rack. As you guys can see, Kellen is firing up a demo for you right now. We not only have all the lights on, but also there is a light from the camera shining this direction, a bright light. It's pretty impressive, guys. This is what ALR is all about, ambient light rejecting technology. And then when you turn the lights off, it just gets that much better. When we come into customers' homes, sometimes we'll notice little things like Kellen is adjusting the alignment right now. This is a really common one. Um, a lot of clients, they use the room, they have kiddos. So this projector probably got bumped. Uh, maybe the kids threw a ball at it or the door slammed, something like that. And it wasn't aligned properly. So right now Kellen is just making sure that the picture is perfectly square and in full focus. This is a common one. And then the next thing we're gonna check is the surround sound decoding. Whenever you guys have us out, um, I always like to just optimize your system real quick. If you know 
um, about cameras or lenses when you have the manual adjustment to adjust the focus. You can go past focus either uh, too much or too little. So that's what I'm basically doing here is that I'm adjusting the lens uh, backwards and forwards until you find where it is sharp in the middle. And then you'll just make small adjustments back up, back down until you can really see how just crisp the pixels pixel. are in yeah. the focus. So uh, you should actually see like the individual right. pixels if it's fully focused, which you can kind of see yeah, here. See, it's yep. kind of blurry there. We'll go a couple notches back down, and I think that's it. This is the most basic thing that you guys can do in your own home theaters to ensure that you're maximizing the performance. I can't tell you how many times I go into people's uh, home theaters, especially if they DIY it, and <laughs> not only is the alignment off, but it's just slightly out of focus. And if the projector is slightly out of focus, you're not going to get this amazing picture. So let's play this Batman scene and uh, you guys let us know down in the comments what you think about this RS2000 and this Slate 1 2. But we're going to play a quick little demo and I just want to hear your thoughts. Well, that sconce is kind of rattling. <laughs> It's tighter. Yeah, exactly. Uh-huh. Before it sounded a little bit muddy. And I mean now it's shaking your sconces because <laughs> it's it's going at a subsonic level. We fixed the alignment because um, it was also bleeding onto the wall at the bottom okay. um, of the projector. And uh, Kellen's been tweaking the audio a little bit. I noticed you have adjustments up here for subwoofer up yeah. and down. Do you mess with those uh, a little sometimes. bit? Sometimes. Just like when you have kids, you turn it down and stuff like that? Yeah, or if my wife's, because the master bedroom's down there, so if my wife's sleeping, I might turn, uh, the, okay. I might turn the sub down a little Because that was one thing is we were like, man, the bass is kind of down. All right, guys, that is a wrap on our home theater walkthrough. Kellen, what'd you think? I think it sounds great. There's some uh, some things that can still be improved further. Once he gets all the finishing touches done, he'll get it dialed in and it, it already sounds great, but it's gonna sound a lot better too. These were some great people. Um, the, the wife actually reached out after our initial consultation a couple months later and was like, look, you know, we, he's super excited. I really wanna do this package. And so it ended up being a Christmas present slash surprise uh, for the husband. So that was really cool to pull off kind of behind his back a little bit and, and see his uh, you know reaction to that. So I know they're both happy and the family's happy. I know they, they have some kids and um, it sounds like they move that, they use that movie room often. So that's good to see. That's what it's all about right here, guys. Another happy customer. This is why we do it. All right, guys. Well, if you would like to purchase anything home theater related, we ship throughout the entire nation and have those industry leading manufacturers to choose from. Till next time, this is Zach and Kellen with Dream Media Home Theater. We'll catch you on the next one.